Royal Baba GD and this evening I'll be showing you one of the very cool scripts I got online during my uh, at scriptspot.com. Um, during my early days of choosing which particular soft 3G software to uh, to uh, 3G software basically, uh, and as much I had this bi have this bias for 3 ds Max, but uh, one of the cool features I found out in Cinema 4 was about the fact that objects such as cameras, lights, and all objects could be exported from. Um, Cinema 4D into After Effects and after a while it was giving me a concern probably I should switch to three Cinema 4D or something but recently I just go to this school script that does exactly the same thing uh, okay let me just pay, spare the, all the details and I'll just show you um, something I did okay this particular um, scene has well nothing serious just a uh, camera revolving around a box which has been textured anyway it's just a normal box uh, okay yeah just uh, just a normal box anyway that's been textured right but um, basically the, uh, basically what I just wanted to find out what I just wanted to cl very much clarify was the fact that was how well it could export and how it works okay just as you can see it's placed here ouch sorry yeah um, as you can see I have three lights here I have three very lights this one very lights go to very lights O one we have checking out the names right here and very light O3 with various um, sorry with various uh, multiplier values here is 11 11 and 5 and I have okay yes I have one more light here which is my spotlight probably for the highlight over here or something let me put it off so you can see yeah playing a role or something yep and I have one camera here which is the only one being animated at the moment anyway oh no 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 not just the only one and this particular null object which has be constrained to this box as you can see as it opens it follows it follows it all right let me spare the details um this particular script was gotten from a website very much known as then scriptsports.com uh here scriptsports.com you could check it out one of these days because most of the scripts over here actually from those from that site I have a um, preset manager, I have my preset manager, I have my deconstructor, I have my Fury Ambient Occlusion, and my PSD to just check it out in one of it, um, um, just any, any other day. Okay, so let me just go ahead and just show you what the cool features I'm talking about. So I go to mask scripts, and I go to run scripts, and here it's called NT Max FX scene. And when I say open, it brings out this dialog. Okay, basically what the dialogue says uh, wants to know is what particular elements in your scene it should export. Uh, for cameras, I'm going to select this. Actually, I've done that before. I just, want to show, I just want to show you the process involved. So I click on my camera and I say add. I say yes, there's only one compatible cameras. I say yes. Okay, fine. I include it. In my light, I say, uh, and I choose add. Bring out that similar dialog box to say, okay, these are the compatible lights, or I go ahead and make my own selection. I say, this select yes, add as you can see. Uh, this add, uh, okay, then I'm gonna use the other one, add. All right, okay, yeah, at least I forgot. At least I forget there are actually two other omni lights which are inside the box. The whole idea about this is to um, emphasize that. Uh, that inside the box has this kind of shimmer, this kind of Disney kind of effect that glues from the box. I'm sure you understand what I mean. So I just go ahead and select this. Uh, okay, let me just go ahead and just add everything. Then this guy, uh, oh, sorry, this guy selects. Uh, this guy, how many one? This one two. So I'm just say select. Then the last one, which is the spotlight here select here so I have all my lights intact then I'll click on my okay I've done the camera and the please hold as we are the nose and everything so which is I'll select this no select and no select export from frame 0 to frame 36 uh, yeah animated please hold us yeah animated please hold us then you say export when I click on export it tells you yes I'm going to export a After Effects JavaScript file, which is a dos JSF JSX file. Um, actually, I've actually done a similar thing here, but I will just come here and just 
of mine this new one zero one the reason why I'm calling zero one because the earlier version I didn't check the animated placeholders so when I say save voila that's it okay before I click it to after effect what I've done is to um, render this thing out of which I made various passes I'll close this when I go to my um, hmm. render settings yeah that is it yeah under render elements okay they are not here at the moment but uh, what I did was to run some render passes which included the specular the z depth the life fuse I think I think let me check it out yeah my math pass yeah okay math pass I will explain but I did my dev fuse I did my specular I did my z depth and I did uh, uh, NMR more render pass you understand what I mean this is z depth pass uh, but this is actually the render pass I just called it. I just named it ZDepth apparently when I go, was lost or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to say something. I've forgotten. Ooh. Yeah, my math pass. Well, my math pass, what I did was that. Um, okay, in my bit to show that the. Uh, in my, okay, yes. Yeah, now I remember. It was after when I made when I've rendered my zero by from zero to thirty six. I was like, did I really need to put this this particular floor, this particular big floor? I could as well just demonstrated the beauty of the of this um, particular script by just putting my own floor in three days. Max as a flat object, yes. And it was after after spending like about two hours because I was using very render and it took so that much longer time. So what I did was I didn't for me instead of me rendering the whole thing again without the floor. Uh, what I just did was to go for my math pass, which is another very beautiful script, which I got from script spot again. So all I did was to make a selection of 